，四月十号，新疆在北京举办有关国家驻华使节交流会。当天正值开斋节，多位驻华大使分享了各自在新疆参访时的见闻，并致以节日祝福。When I arrived in Yining, I was attracted by the beautiful and colorful, unique, predominantly blue and white at the United Village architecture of the city. We later visited the Accordion Instrument Museum and later were treated by a great musical performance by various minority groups who were living in harmony with each other. At the end of that day, first day, my impressions were as follows: first. Xinjiang people were warm and welcoming. They have found strength in their diversity and has learned to live in harmony with each other. The young people I interacted with were all proud and very confident about the future. The citizens were practicing their religions without fear. In fact, I visited Xinjiang in September 2022, and I felt at home, like a pomegranate fruit. This is how we describe people's unity in Syria. I am confident that the life told about China and the province in particular by some media, certain corners、uh, in the world, cannot hinder nor hamper. 新疆曾是古丝绸之路的重要节点，“一带一路”倡议提出以来，新疆着力打造内陆开放和沿边开放高地。多位驻华大使表示，实地参访也让他们看到了所在国与新疆在“一带一路”框架下的合作新机遇。As in the past, Xinjiang today is at core of the BRI and a hub for connectivity and economic. Activity. I paid my second visit to Xinjiang last January, together with a large, high-level business delegation from Turkey. During this visit, we came to a common understanding that there is a great potential for enhanced commercial and cultural cooperation between Turkey and Xinjiang. In August 2023, I had a chance to visit different cities of Xinjiang and witness in person the huge achievements of the Chinese government in developing this region, with the participation of local governments and the people. The prominent role of Xinjiang in the Belt and Road Initiative. Provides all countries in the region with a good opportunity for economic cooperation and cultural exchanges. So there are extensive chances for cooperation between Iran and Xinjiang, and I hope we can work together to exploit the, these opportunities. 新疆维吾尔自治区党委副书记、自治区政府主席艾尔肯·土尼亚兹表示，当前新疆社会大局和谐稳定，经济高质量发展势头强劲，民族团结不断巩固，多种宗教和谐发展，各族群众人权得到充分保障。中国新疆的大门始终是敞开的，热诚欢迎大家多到新疆走一走、看一看。两年多来，一百九十多个国家和地区的。四百多批团组，五千多人到新疆实地参访，他们深入了解新疆经济发展、社会稳定、民生改善、文化保护、民族团结、宗教和睦的实际情况，做出了积极、客观、公正的评价，纷纷点赞新疆发展取得的成就。在中国，有一首。家喻户晓的民歌，那就是“我们新疆好地方”。借此机会，我们热诚地欢迎大家多到新疆走一走、看一看。当天，共有来自四十九个国家的二十一位驻华大使和五十多位外交官参加活动。新疆维吾尔自治区党委书记马新瑞出席活动。